it and enjoy it and it's pretty but this time next week it's going to be mud city so once we get our errands run this morning we may go home and play in the snow a little bit before it's all gone that'd be fun Taking a video. Oh. <laughs> That's our camp snowman. He doesn't get to come very often. He's made out of bits and pieces from the camp. <laughs> That's so cool. Are y'all falling over there? <laughs> The snow has slid down the slide and it's like it's like a ribbon all gathered up at the bottom. That's so cool. Alright, now Aiden is going to finish off the snow. <laughs> Was it a nice pile at the bottom? Yep. Yeah. Soft landing. Hey guys, we just got home from church. Um, yeah, happy Sunday by the way. Just got home from church. And um, sidewalk update, uh, it, the snow is all melting. And so the drain that Scotty put in is working fantastically. So I'm going to show you guys that. So you can see all the melted snow. Sorry, my brother's cutting wood. It's that chainsaw. So the melted snow down under the grate, going under the sidewalk. And coming out right down there. Yay, Scotty. So proud. So excited. So I just finished cleaning out my linen closet and that's the video that will have gone out Thursday. Uh, since this is coming out Saturday. Um, but anyway, my pile of stuff that's leaving is ever growing. My car is still full because of the snow. I didn't make it last week to get to the Samaritan shop to donate, but now I have several more bags of stuff, a lamp out of Aiden's room, and then all the stuff I just pulled out of the linen closet. So it's exciting. I love stuff leaving this house. It, I've always been a pack rat, but it feels so good to get rid of this old stuff and it's just I love it. it makes me happy so anyway that's how I ended out my Sunday hope you guys had a good day oh yeah and I just showed you um Scotty is the hair cutter in the family uh you know people talk about home haircuts and stuff well if I did it it'd be a bad thing but Scotty's actually very good at it come here Aiden just finished Aiden's haircut 
Look how nice. Do a turn. Show us all around. Oh, lovely. Looks so good. Yes. Yes. You like it? Mm -hmm. Happy with it? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. He does a really good job. And he trimmed Riley's hair. So, yeah. I am not the hair cutter in this family. I am. That is not something I was gifted with. Um, ask my sister who ended up wanting a trim and ended up with a rather short bob when we were teenagers, <laughs> unfortunately. Hey guys, happy Monday. Uh, I was thinking about this at some point today. This is my first Monday in three weeks. So two weeks ago it iced overnight and we went into work late. So I didn't get there until like after lunch. And then last Monday was a snow day. And so yeah, that was my first Monday morning I've had to deal with in three weeks. So weird. Um, anyway, it was a pretty decent day today at work. Um, I was hardly in my office, of course, the whole last two weeks because of snow and everything. And then once I did get back to work, I sewed. So I had a lot of office work catch up stuff to do, but I got nearly done today, except now I have to do annual reviews and that always takes forever. So otherwise I mostly got caught up. So I'm holding out hope that I get to sew more later on this week. I've had so much fun doing that. Um, but I'm working on dinner right now. I didn't even say it's seven o'clock. It is seven o'clock in the evening. Um, my first time vlogging today, but, um, working on dinner. Scotty is out getting Aiden from basketball practice, but we're having, uh, fried shrimp and onion rings. So I've got my oil starting over there. So I'm fixing to, uh, dip my shrimp and start frying them. And then I'll do the onion rings at the end. Cause I don't want the onion to taint the batter there. It'll taste more like a hush puppy than a fried shrimp. Anyway, so I'm going to get those going here in just a moment, as soon as my oil is hot. And I might whip together a salad or something too, but that's a lot of shrimp. That's two pounds of shrimp, so that'll be a lot for the four of us. Um, but these are actually kind of smaller than the ones I normally get. I normally get the Walmart ones, and I got these at Harps, our local grocery store. So I don't know what the difference there is other than brand, but they seem smaller. So... Anyway, I'm excited. We wanted to have this Saturday and then the day just got away from us and we didn't do it. So here we are Monday night having fried shrimp and onion rings. All right, so I'm done. We got shrimp over here. We got onion rings right here and we got homemade tartar sauce and shrimp sauce, which is my dad's recipe, which is just ketchup, Worcestershire and Tabasco. And then this is just, what's it called? Miracle Whip, Miracle Whip and relish. Yep, that's it. So both of my children were so excited to learn we were having onion rings. So, yay. Look at all that fried food. Oh, man. Now what are we going to do? Watch swamp people. Yes. Swamp people and shrimp. <laughs> hey, you guys. Happy Tuesday. It is 5 o'clock on the dot. I just got off work a few minutes ago, and I've actually already been to the bank. And now I'm heading to Walmart and it is stinking hot. It is 73 degrees. So you remember last week when it was like negative 15? Holy moly. Why is it so like one way or the, like there's no in between. It's so crazy. It's either really hot or really cold. Holy moly. I have not been to this Walmart in quite a while. What are they doing? There's construction everywhere. Okay. So the reason I have to go to Walmart is because I need new jeans. So this is, you know, a touchy subject for a lot of people and, you know, not much different for me, but I've gained 20 pounds in an entire year. Like that's a lot to gain in a year. And I'm not happy about it, but I guess I'm not really ashamed about it either. Like it's not awesome, but it is what it is. So I'm just living with it and dealing with it the best that I can, you know, I, I don't know. I don't want to talk a lot about it, I guess is what I'm going to say. So whatever, I need new jeans. That's what I'm trying to get out. Um, because chubby thighs and jeans don't mix and everything else about my jeans are just fine except the hole in my thighs on all of my jeans are just unrepairable. I've already patched several and now it's ripping where the patch isn't. So uh, anyway, so I'm gonna see if I can find a pair here. I bought a pair Saturday without trying them on and I never do that. I try everything on every time. 
but I didn't because we were in a hurry and they're not even close to fitting. So if I can't find a pair here, cause they're only $17 and you know, I'm hoping that I'll lose some weight soon, but you know, I gotta actually do something to lose weight and I don't have time or energy. So anyway, they're only $17. So I don't mind spending $17 on Walmart jeans. They're the time and true brand and they're actually really nice but I just, they didn't fit me. Anyways, so if I can't find a pair here that I like, I guess I'm gonna run to Goodwill and see if I can find a couple pair that, cause they're only $5 at Goodwill. So we'll see, I might try my luck down there and see what I can find. I just need a few pair to get me through, maybe till tax money comes and then we can go shopping, but <sighs> I'm not really looking forward to this, just so you know. So I'll update you if we find some jeans. Okay, so I'm in the dressing room. I've got these on. I don't love them. I mean, they don't do much for my stomach. <laughs> and they're okay. They're super stretchy, which is nice. But it makes me worry. And see that price? $27 for Walmart jeans? What the heck? So these are actually Lee's, not the time and true. But, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so these are supposedly the same jean, but look how much better it fits on my stomach. And I love that they're long. Like when I wear my boots, that's what I want, is I want something I can wear my boots with. Um, and it's like, well, you're gonna see my size, cool. 16 long, like it's actually an option, which normally at Walmart, there's not. There's not a, a long option. So these, uh, I don't want to spend that, but they're kind of nice. Okay, I got one more pair and they're on clearance, so we'll see. Okay, so here's the crazy thing. These are only $7, originally $27, and they're actually like thick stuff now. They're not as stretchy, but I'll pay $7 for these. Heck yeah. They're not as flattering on my stomach, but when I have my shirt down, no one's the one. No one is the wiser. So I'll definitely get these. I gotta think about the other ones for a minute. I just wanna pay $27 for a pair of jeans. Sorry, I'm a cheapskate. <laughs> Back in my car, I'm leaving. I had to pull away because there's people looking at me and it's weird. Anyways, I got the jeans. Scotty told me to get the jeans. Scotty always tells me to do things for myself. <sighs> Ladies, women, mamas, all of the above. Why is it so ding dang hard for us to spend money on ourselves? Like, I don't, I don't understand it my own self. I do it all the time. I am still too shy to like talk <laughs> and vlog in the stores or whatever. It was fine in the dressing room because no one's looking at me obviously. But I took a short little clip. I had to buy ranch dressing because I'm going to get pizza right now. $5 for the ranch dressing that we like, that the kids like, that Scotty likes. I don't really love ranch on my pizza. I'll eat it sometimes, but usually I just like salt, pepper, garlic. So anyway, who cares what I want on my pizza? Anyways, $5 for a bottle of ranch dressing that's gonna be gone in no time, which it's still $5 to buy twice as much at Sam's Club, but I'm not driving all the way across town to Sam's Club. Anyways, wound up, calm down Ivy. Um, why is that so easy? We can just drop money on these little things that this ranch will be gone in a week. Half of it's gonna be gone after we have pizza tonight, you know? And that too, Scotty's like, we'll just stop and get pizza. Cause I was like, oh, should I go to Goodwill? Should I go to Walmart? What should I do? I don't wanna be gone too long. I have to edit my video for Thursday. And he's like, why don't you just stop and pick up pizza or something? What is wrong with me? <laughs> ah, stress about everything. And then there, it's just not a big deal. Like I don't have to stress about dinner. Cause Scotty said, pick up pizza but then like I'm literally what is wrong with me? ducking down aisles in Walmart I pull up like the internet because I'm like okay there's a Domino's in Walmart I'm just gonna order a Domino's and then go pick it up I'm like 
no, because I have to download the app and I don't want to deal with all that. And I don't even order Domino's, so I don't know what to get there. I'll just order Pizza Hut. And so I start ordering that and it's like $6. And I'm like, I can just pull into Eureka Pizza and pay $5. So... Can I just have a moment <laughs> for all of us mamas that struggle with this every single day, what to make for dinner, what to have for dinner, where to pick up dinner from, which of the 5,000 pizza places that I'm fixing to pass should I stop into? I mean, literally, Domino's, Papa John's, which is always my choice because it's delicious, but it's like $1,000 to eat there. And I'm going to go to Eureka and then Pizza Hut. It's like... Why is this such a poor deal? It should not be. Just pick up pizza and go home. Okay. I'm calmed down. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> guys, I swear it's Tuesday. It is not Monday. It is Tuesday. <laughs> okay, so I just stopped at Eureka to get pizza. Hot and ready. Anytime. Four to seven. I'm like, okay, what do you got hot and ready today? cheese and pepperoni. Let me tell you, I'm not paying $6 for a cheese pizza. You better be some meat on that pizza. So I said, okay, do you have any stuffed crust? Cause the sign right there, I'm looking at it, says available anytime, ready, four to seven. And he said, no, people usually call ahead for that. I said, your sign says ready four to seven, but okay. Um, how long will it be for a pizza? He said, oh, it'll be a little bit. And I'm like, okay. That's fine. I'll just wait. <laughs> so I just waited 17 minutes for a pizza. Guys, I should have just ordered Pizza Hut and picked it up. Why is this such a dilemma? Okay, bye. Good morning, guys. Happy Wednesday. Uh, I am running late for work. What's new? But I just wanted to jump on here this morning. I'm going to try and keep it short because you know me. I ramble. But just have a lot of thoughts this morning. I had a, not rough, not, I don't know. I had a night last night. I don't, whatever. However you would choose to describe it, you can make up your mind after I tell you. But, okay, so you, my jeans dilemma, the pizza, blah, blah, blah. I get home. I, I start moving files off of my computer <clears throat> because video files take up a lot of room and so I have to like constantly move them over to our external hard drive and so it was getting later and later and we had I had stopped to do dinner like eat the pizza you know with the family once they got home and um we watched a show while we were eating dinner and then talked for a minute went back to it was moving stuff over also was paying church bills at the same time also was working with Riley getting stickers sorted for gifts for the birthday box at the youth group okay that's a long story to tell you I was really busy so I was doing like a million things at the same time and every time a file would finish moving over I would move another file in the midst of all of this other stuff and so I in my haste after a file moved I hit delete and it said this file's too big for the recycle bin. Do you want to permanently delete it? And I just said yes. I mean, like, that was as fast, faster than that. And as soon as I hit yes, my heart just exploded. Because what happened was I deleted the entire folder with all my video files on it. <laughs> that I had not yet moved over. I thought it was still selected on the one I had just moved. It was on the full, like, heading folder, not a subfolder. So I was like instantly crushed and Scotty was very kind and he was trying to help me and Google ways to restore your files and stuff. But once you permanently delete, it's deleted. I mean, I tried to find ways. I downloaded this program from Microsoft and tried to recover it, but I'm not a computer person and I don't know what I'm doing. Long story long, I'm pretty sure that was other than certain files that was everything moved off of there I mean I had that was the next to the last thing I was gonna move the only thing I actually lost I think 
are my cook with me files. And so I have recorded like seven different meals and I just keep putting them in this one folder so I can edit it into one video. And now those files are gone. I think there's two meals or maybe three still on my camera that I didn't delete after I moved. Normally I delete them to free space off my camera and my phone. So as I put them on the computer, I delete them. They're gone, gone, I can't find them. And like I said, I am almost positive everything else was already moved and I didn't actually lose any unedited that I haven't put out there footage other than that cook with me. Like I'm racking my brain to try and think of it. The only other thing I lost is Riley's cake edited, but I have the raw footage still on my camera. It doesn't really matter once it's already edited and out on YouTube, like it's there, but weird things about YouTube and stuff, people can dispute your video and they can say that you, whatever. And so I want to keep all my original files just in case anyone ever tries to say I'm like cheating or lying or whatever. So I have like my original files. And so I just lost a bunch. Which I don't think that's ever going to happen. I'm a nobody, if you will, in YouTube world. I don't think that I'm ever going to get to that point, but there's always just that what if, you know. Anyways, at this point, it's already 10 p.m. The reason I'm moving all this over is because I have a video I need to edit and put up by two by by Thursday. So I finally gave up on trying to recover my files and finally move over my Thursday video, which um, at this rate you'll have already seen it, but my linen closet declutter. And I have two hours worth of footage for that, that I have to edit down into a 30 minute or less video. And so again, it's after 10 by the time I get all the files moved over now. And so I need to start editing. Y'all, I'm going to bed at almost 2 a.m. <laughs> I'm really, really tired. But that's beside the, all the point. Like I do this all the time. I stay up till two o'clock all the time. That is not the end of the world. Now it makes me late for work because now it's 8.03 and I still got at least 10 minutes to go. Dang it. But while I was editing that video, I could hear myself breathing so many times because I was winded, because I was doing something. Y'all, that ain't cool. Like, the things that will push you over the edge, either in a good way or a bad way, can be the most minute thing sometimes. Like, I know it. I see it. Like, every time I look in the mirror, every time I edit a video and I see my neck and everything, I talked about how much weight I've gained yesterday in my jeans video. That even hadn't pushed me over the edge yet. But listening to how winded... And I hope you guys don't notice it in the video. I hope I've edited enough of those chunks out. But like climbing up and down the ladder and just like bending over a bunch of times. Like I was physically exhausted each time I had to do something very lightweight work. I have got to make a change. I've already like every day I'm like, okay, I want to run. Literally Monday, I was like, Sunday, I was like, okay, I, I know I'm going to wear this to work so that I can stop and run after work and da, da 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 all these things. Wake up the next morning, cannot find a single piece of clothing that I, in my mind, laid out. And I swore I knew exactly where they were and whatever. Satan is screwing with me, trying to keep me down and like discouraged about my self-image and whatever even my physical health, which is very important for so many things, our mentality, our lifestyle, you know, like our long longevity of life. Anyways, it is time. It is time. Uh, like hearing myself get so winded over it and I felt it and I've noticed it in my day to day. But whenever I was watching myself back, I'm like, girl, you've got to get in shape. So I don't, I, I don't know what it's going to look like. I don't intend to like vlog my journey. I mean, I'm sure I'm going to talk about it, but 
the things that will push you over the edge. And that was it. I was already so upset about deleting that file and then having being so late and overwhelmed by so many things. And I swear, if I just got myself a little healthier, I would have more energy and I wouldn't be so stressed and I wouldn't be so frazzled. And I, I probably, I'm still going to be in a hurry, but I don't know. I, I think I think it should just, could just help my mental health a lot if I could just get myself a little healthier. So I said I was going to make that short. It's been eight minutes. So I'm going to stop talking. But I just needed to get all that off my heart and mind and chest this morning. So if you're struggling with something, talk to somebody about it or talk to me about it. Feel free, please. Um, just... If something's going to throw you over the edge, let it motivate you instead of destroy you. Like, don't let it throw you off the deep end, like, and send you spinning down a, a wrong spiral. Um, help it, let it help it motivate you and kickstart a positive change in your life. Guys, I'm home and I'm getting ready to get my stuff ready for church tonight. I just wanted to show you, it is 6.05 and it's still light outside. Springs are coming. Hey guys, happy Thursday. I haven't vlogged at all today. Excuse my crazy hair. I've been cooking like crazy. Um, but we got the family over, so I'm just popping on really quick to say hey, because I haven't, and to show you my dinner. So we made Deer Burgers. Um, I made baked potato salad. Loaded baked potato salad. So good. And baked beans. So, yeah, here's our dinner. Mmm. Looks so delicious. I can't wait to eat. So I'm gonna go eat. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Watch him in the plate. Uh, right. Aiden's gonna try flan. We'll cut it in half. That'll be mine. Y'all can split the other half. <laughs> Is that fair? No. No? No. Why not? Go for it, Aiden. The texture is like feels weird. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's good, it's just different, huh? <laughs> all right let's eat hey guys happy friday uh it's actually very late it's 10 05 in the in the evening in the night <laughs> however you say that uh today was actually like a really good day at work um and when i got home from work i just chilled out and watched some youtube videos and then once scotty was done working um we ran to town we had to pick up a few things to be ready for our weekend we just went to eat dinner at a local Mexican food restaurant and it was really good. And we got flan because Aiden had never had flan. And so, um, we got that for him to try and he liked it. It was, he's like, it's different. It's kind of not weird, but <laughs> you know, if you've had flan, you know, it's hard to explain. But anyway, um, I am fixing to go edit this video and have it ready to upload first thing in the morning. And, um, yeah, it's been an interesting week. <laughs> so we started out with snow and sledding. Um, and then, um, I did some jeans shopping and then I didn't do a whole lot else. So a little slower week for this vlog, but you know, they're not always going to be just fun and exciting <laughs> every single time, but I have really been enjoying documenting my life and doing these vlogs. So I'm going to keep it up even when it's a slower week and just bring you guys along with me as much as I can. So thank you for all the love and support you guys have given me. And uh, if you like this kind of video, as always, make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any future content. It really helps other people to find me. The more subscribers I get, the more views I get, the more likes I get. YouTube promotes me to other people. So again, if you guys um, like my channel, then um, 
I would love if you would subscribe so that not only you, but other people can see my videos more often. So, all right, I'm going to stop talking <laughs> and get off of here. Um, thank you guys again so much for watching. I love you all and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.